Oh, welcome back everybody. So today I just got this little cool door window sensor, right? So we'll look at opening it up, seeing how it looks, uh, getting it set up and uh, getting it you know, installed and seeing what cool things we can come up with as a usage for it. Okay, so let's look at the sensor. Obviously, okay, so that's, I guess, the main unit and the magnetic sensor. You can see there's a couple of errors here, so you know how to install it. So let's see what else in the box. Okay. So we have the instruction manual. Quite comprehensive, so yeah, we have a set, all the setup instruction here. Okay, so we'll keep it in the box for now. Let's see what else we have. Okay, we have some screws, so I guess we can either screw it in or we have some double-sided tape, so we can potentially just tape it up to the window or the door. Okay, cool. So, it feels like it's needing the better, so let's get it set up. I guess this is the button to open it somehow. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Some, a couple of batteries somewhere around here. So we'll put the batteries in. Okay, and this one goes here. Okay, so the batteries are in. Okay. So I guess it's flashing. Let's get the uh, smart life app up so we'll get go into smart life we'll go into add devices and then we'll go to security and sensors and uh, see if we can find okay contact center wi-fi that's the one Reset device first. Okay, so hold on. We'll push this button. Hold it for five seconds. It needs to start blinking. Okay, cool. So confirm. Mobile phone is not connected. Check five. Got to connect. Okay, so just to get the Wi-Fi up. Okay, back to Smart Life. Uh, we enter Wi-Fi username and password. Okay, and click confirm. And as you can see now, it's trying to connect. So let's see if it connects the first time. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens if we can get it running from the first go. Okay, so it stopped blinking. Okay, device found, registered. Okay, excellent. So door sensor is connected. Okay, so we go done. Okay, and it's showing the door sensor is unlocked. So let's see if we put this here. So in theory, it should change to locked. Let's see how fast the network is responding. Yep, and we can see it's locked, and uh, if we do it like this, so let's see if it unlocks it. Yep, and it unlocks. So the sensor is working, uh, it's definitely sensing it, and it's passing the data to Smart Life app, so it's good. Uh, so next step, I guess, is to figure out where we're going to connect it, and... Uh, get it plugged in and see if we can set up some procedures as well. So we can, we'll probably try to get the uh, light going or something based on open and door setting. Okay, so we'll go and connect it now and, and see where we are, where we'll get to. Okay, so I had a quick look around the house and I actually, so instead of connecting it to the door and, and everything, and we'll, we'll just do a simple test. We have a sensor, uh, we have a, light here so we'll try to get uh, the light on and off based on the sensor being open or closed right so so we'll go back to the smart life app uh, I have the automation so if you just go into smart uh, 
into automation and you big plus so you have the condition and what should be the action so we'll add the condition first uh, we'll put it take a device uh, the device will be door sensor uh, we'll put select the switch and we'll say to open and the condition will be also a device and we'll have our YouTube light test and the switch will be on and we'll save it but as you can see you can also do the color change and another white mode change etc so we'll go next uh, we'll give it a name we'll give it call it door open we'll save it so it should save it again so now we should see it here right so now we'll add another one so we'll go the same way we'll select our device uh, the door and this time we'll select it as closed okay and the condition and the action will be device and the light bulb should be turned off so we'll go switch off right and we we'll save it give it next uh, we'll give it a name we'll call it door closed we'll save it and we'll save it again and it should pop up here okay so we have now two actions and based on certain conditions so the first one is obviously the light coming on based on the door being open or the switch being unlocked and the second one when you, you close the door or you put the switch sensor back together uh, the light should come off so let's give it a try so we'll take it and we'll undo the switch and depending on the speed of the network which seems to be a bit slow today the light should in theory come on yep and it's on so now if we put the switch back together and you know closing the door action so let's close it the light should come off and again it seems like there's a little bit of delay in the network but now it's working a bit faster so in principle it works uh, it looks like a very cool device I mean it, it's simple it's easy to set up easy to use can take me more than 10 minutes to set it up and obviously you can do a lot of things not you know the light is being a simple example any you know smart device you have on, on your network you can turn it on off or do some other actions which that device support so that's about it for this video thank you for watching i will put the description to the website where all the details of everything i used here and enjoy and hopefully to see you soon again thanks bye